Welcome to Frank Stajano Explains. Today's topic is the twos complement representation. When you want to represent numbers inside a computer, the first thing you do is you think about natural numbers. And then the way to represent natural numbers is uh, fairly obvious, is the one you use to represent numbers in any base, except here it's uh, the base is 2. And so in binary, the um, bit in the lowest position is worth 2 to the 0, the bit in position 1 is worth 2 to the 1, 1 in position 2 is worth 2 to the 2, and so on and so on. So if you have k bits, a uh, number from 0 to k minus 1, then the 1 in position k minus 1 will be worth 2 to the k minus 1. That's how you represent natural numbers. And that's fair enough. But then you can only represent numbers from, for example, from 0 to 255, if you have 8 bits. What if you wanted to represent minus 3? Well, you have to scratch your head and think of a way of uh, encoding uh, negative numbers. And the first thing that might come to mind might be to use one of the bits for a sign. And so you can have uh, the bit uh, beyond the highest, most significant bit uh, of the numeral as a sign bit. And if you do that, uh, that's fine. Uh, but you end up with trouble for having, for example, 0 and minus 0 both representable in that encoding. Uh, and also, you have uh, a number of special cases you need to do when adding and subtracting numbers. So another thing you could do is the so-called ones complement, which is flipping all the bits of the numeral in order to represent its uh, additive inverse. That works to some extent, has its own problems, uh, which we won't go into in this brief video. We're just going to focus on the one that works so much better than the others, that basically all modern microprocessors use it, which is two's complement. And as I'm sure you already know, two's complement works by having the most significant bit be worth uh, its weight in negative. So if you have eight bits, then bit number seven, which is the topmost one is not worth 2 to the 7, it's worth minus 2 to the 7, it's worth minus 128. All the other bits are worth uh, regular positive powers of 2, but the uh, leftmost one is worth minus um, 2 to the k minus 1. So what we are uh, focusing in today's video is uh, how to make the additive inverse of a number in 2's complement, and I'm going to give you the recipe, uh, and why does it work. And you're going to figure that one out. So the recipe for making the additive inverse of a number in Stu's complement is uh, very easy and convenient. You take the, the numeral, for example, 7. OK, 7. How do you represent 7? Seven? 7 is uh, 1, 1, 1, which would count as 2 to 0 taken one time, 2 to 1, 2 uh, to the 2, um, that if you add up uh, 1, 2, and 4, then you obtain 7, so that's the numeral for 7, and all the rest of the stuff is 0, including, if we are in 2's complement, the topmost one, which carries the negative weight, since this is a positive number, then the, that topmost bit is 0. And to obtain the numeral for minus 7, what I do is I flip all these bits, uh, basically doing the 1's uh, complement of 7 in 8 bits, and then I add 1 to uh, what I obtain, and that's going to be the numeral for minus 7 in 2's complement. And that also works in reverse. If you have uh, the numeral representing a negative number, such as, for example, minus 5, then you can flip all its bits, add 1 to the result, and you'll get the numeral for 5 in 2's complement. And today's video is about why does this work. This seems very convenient, but also a bit weird and magical. And it's now up to you to find a justification as to why it works. So stop the video, do it on your own, uh, and then when you're ready to check um, check your answer, then continue and you'll see how I've done it. And if you like all this stuff, then please click the thumbs up. And if you want more of that, subscribe to this channel. See you when you've done yours. So here we are. Uh, I have defined the two's complement representation as follows. The representation of a number is a string of bits where the weight of the bit in position i is equal to 
2 to the i, except for the last one, the weight of the bit in position k minus 1 is worth 2 to the k minus 1 negative. So all the bits have a positive weight except the leftmost bit, which has which is the largest and has a negative weight. So this is my definition of two's complement. Now um, this thing is a string, so it belongs to the set of strings over the alphabet zero and one, uh, which are k bits long. This string is a member of this set. Now the value of this string is going to be an integer and is equal to minus 2 to the k minus 1 times s k minus 1, where s k minus 1 is either a 0 or 1, uh, plus the sum of all the 2 to the i s i uh, for i from 0 to k minus 2, all the positive ones. So this is a number uh, which is um, a natural number, no, uh, an integer number. It can be positive or negative depending on uh, the sign of this um, Depend, depending on the value of the leftmost bit, if this bit is 0, then there's no negative component and it's just positive. And if this bit is 1, then the negative part is going to be bigger than this whole sum, because this whole sum comes to the weight of this one, minus 1, if all these uh, bits are 1, it will be just one less than this one. So, these are my definitions. And now I want to prove that taking a numeral, flipping all the bits of the numeral and adding 1 uh, is the numeral of the negative version of the original number. So let me now consider the 1's complement of S, which is the numeral obtained by uh, flipping all the bits in S. And so this would look like a string where I have 1 minus s k minus 1 concatenated with 1 minus s k minus 2 concatenated with 1 minus s i concatenated with 1 minus s 2 1 minus s 1 finally 1 minus s0. If the original bit si is 0, then 1 minus 0 is 1. If the original bit si is 1, then 1 minus 1 is 0. So 1 minus the original bit is a way of expressing arithmetically the fact that I'm complementing that bit. Uh, and the thing in between those brackets is just string concatenation. Each one of these is a uh, one bit, which I'm concatenating with another bit. So this string is again k-bit string, just like this one over here, and it is uh, obtained having flipped all the bits. So, if I now do uh, the value of this s complemented, and I add 1, which was my recipe for producing the negative of the original number, then what do I get? The value of this complemented numeral is, if I apply the formula uh, over here to these bits, it's going to be minus 2 to the k minus 1, 1 minus s k minus 1, plus a sum for i equals 0 to k minus 2 uh, of 2 to the i times 1 minus si. And then the 
uh, plus one that I had from earlier. So this is equal to minus two k minus one plus two uh, k minus one s k minus one uh, plus sum i equals zero k minus two two to the i minus sum s i plus one now if I take this summation it's the sum of all the powers of two from uh, two to zero to two to the k minus two so there is k minus one of them in total and it's basically uh, corresponding to the binary numeral one 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 with uh, k minus one ones and if I add one to that plus one then what I get is uh, one plus one is zero with a carry of one plus one is zero with a carry of one plus one is zero with a carry of one plus one is zero carry of one zero carry of one zero one then it becomes um, two to the k minus one right so this was position zero one two three position k minus two and position k minus one so this becomes 2 to the k minus 1 is the only power of 2 that's left and all the other ones are 0. So this this one plus this one makes 2 to the k minus 1. With this one it cancels out because it's the opposite. So what I'm left with removing those useless parts and let's rewrite what is left. What's left is equals equals 2 to the k minus 1 s k minus 1 minus summation of the s i oh and I I missed the 2 to the i over here should still be here 2 to the i s i um, yeah for i equals 0 to k minus 2 and if I compare this with this I see that uh, it's uh, exactly the opposite and so this is equal to minus v of s so I have that uh, v of the value of the ones complement plus one is equal to minus the value of s so uh, I have now proved that um, my method for obtaining the negative version of a number by flipping all the um, flipping all the bits of the two's complement and then adding one gives me the correct result. So I hope you got to this point having actually performed the exercise on your own before watching how I did it and hopefully your proof of this method is actually uh, more interesting than mine. If so, congratulations, well done. There's many ways of doing that.